This video is a help video for a homework that I've set my particular class. So without the homework and without the details, it won't be much use listening. Um, but for those people in my class doing this homework, um, hopefully these will be some hints for you how to do questions 1, 2 and 3 on your homework. OK, on question number 1, these are the questions that I would ask. First of all, make sure you've read really clearly what the question is asking you to do. Make sure you've underlined all of the important numbers that you're going to use. And these are the prompt questions. First of all, can you see how much it would cost to play? To play the game. Write that down somewhere on your answer sheet. Can you see how many people are going to be playing the game or how many goes um, of the game are going to be had? Write that one down. Is there some way you can use your answers to these two? You should have got 30 pence and 200. If you've got 200 people each paying 30 pence, can you work out the total amount of money that has been paid? 200 people paying 30 pence. Remember, this could be in pence or pounds. I don't mind, but your units need to be sort of coherent together. If you can do that, if you can work out the total amount of money, that's going to be one mark. Second of all, can you try to work out how many wins there would be in this game? Remember, this is the probability of winning, which I think is given to you. See if you can find that in the question multiply by the number of goes. If you can do this formula, if you can multiply those two together, that's going to get you a second mark. Right, on to question number two. It's the same questions, really. How much does it cost to pay on question two? Uh, sorry, to play on question two. Write that down now somewhere in the answer space. And how many people are playing this game? Write that down as well. Did you get one pound and twenty people? You should have been able to find those two numbers in the question. Again, can you find a way to work out the total amount of money that is being spent here? One pound each and twenty people. It's not going to be just one pound that the, the game is sort of taking in. OK, it's 20, pa 20 pounds, I've given you the answer there. It's 20 people playing, paying one pound each. Again, can you find out the expected number of wins? Can you multiply the probability of winning by the number of goes that are being had here? The probability of winning, you'll have to look at the spinner. You'll have to work out the probability of winning. And you need to multiply that by the number of goes at this game. That will give you the number of wins. That will be a second mark, which would be good going on a question like this. And question number three, I've got the same questions again. How much does it cost to play? How many people are going to play the game? You should be able to find the answers to those two and you should be able to work out how much is being spent by those people. And again, try to use this formula, the number of wins is the n probability of winning multiplied by the number of goes. To get this, the probability of winning, you'll have to look back at your table. You'll have to see what is the probability of getting 11. You may also be able to look at your previous answer to part B, if you got that correct. But we want to know the number of 11s out of how many possible answers. So the probability of winning is going to be a fraction. 
the number of times you can get 11 out of the total number of answers you could get and multiply that by the number of goes, the number of people playing the game if you can do both those things again you get two marks and that would be really good for a question like this okay replay the video answer the questions pause it at each stage sit here with your homework and actually do it as I go through those prompt questions see if you can get some marks on these questions good luck